Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> I have some longer comments later, but I have a couple quick questions for now. I believe we just heard that FERC has denied some pipelines before. I thought I heard someone just say that. Could we see a list of which pipelines and the order that was sent by FERC denying them, and could we see them on FERC's website and by when will we see them? And I have a related question. There's a single private company that's been contracted with, according to the initial letters by all three of the leaked pipeline companies, I think its name is Mergent, which is going to be assisting with this environmental review. Can we see the RFP, the request for proposals, that produced that single company? Could we see the individual proposals from all the applications? Could we see them on Turk's website, and by when will we see them? That's my question. So those are process questions about the FERC's administrative docket, what I've heard. And the FERC keeps an administrative record. So every letter that is filed with the commission, every order document the commission issues goes into a record. There is not a, a project-specific website or, or project-specific portion where some of these things are put up. There's a record that you have to go and search. So to answer your question about the orders denying projects, those are available on the commission's administrative record. They're there right now, you're welcome to go get them, and I can talk to you afterwards about where you can specifically, uh, the numbers to try to find those. The request for, uh, so, he asked about Mergent, and we have a third party contractor that assists us with these projects. We have a consultant who assists the firm with doing this work. Uh, Ms. Shields works with Mergent. He is basically an extension of, extension of FERC staff. These folks submit a proposal to work on the project. That proposal, is proprietary and is not available for, for review. Didn't uh, we pay for that with tax money? That? I'm sorry. Didn't we pay for that with tax money? That RFP? Shouldn't it be in the public record? The contractor is funded by the company. It's a third party applicant. It's a third party contractor. So the commission doesn't pay for the contractor. We use the contractor to help us with our environmental review. For larger projects, having a third party contractor helps us assist with the review. Uh, ultimately, the FERC is responsible for every single piece of paperwork that comes out of the third party contractor. So in many cases, we may ask the third party contractor to do some, some research into a specific uh, resource area. Um, maybe we might ask them to say, um, look into finding, finding certain wetland maps for an area, um, or, or reviewing a wetland delineation report. Um, but then ultimately, whatever they give to us as, as for part of that task work, uh, we go ahead and look at it anyway. It just helps us save some time, but you know, we're responsible for everything that comes out of them. Kevin, uh, I forgot I had the mic in my hand. <laughs> the, the question really is, FERC hired a contractor. You put out a proposal, for a contractor. Our tax money paid for you to make that RFP. Why can't we see it? Yeah, um, I think, you know, I, you know, this, I guess it goes back to a kind of a policy thing. You know, I, it's, I've never heard the question before of, of releasing an RFP. Um, I think that's something that we can go back to, when we go back to the office, go to that and look at releasing it. I don't, Maybe we can, I don't know. Uh, Kevin, excuse me. Let me answer that a little bit more. Is, is the FERC didn't pay for the contractor. Yeah. Who did? The company paid for the contractor. So, the Sable Trail Transmission. So, so, yeah. No, they're not. I've worked on, on projects for 10 years and I've never had a problem with a contractor. They work at our direction. I approve and review everything that's written. So they do our work. I'm a federal employee. Uh, we have contractors that, that helps us do our work. So, well, they have a, excuse me, they have a vested interest. I'm going to go, you know, in order to get everyone in. Um, I'm going to spend either five, ten more minutes for questions, and then we're going to go, you know, get the comments. I don't want to take away from comments, but I do want to answer all your questions. Well, excuse me for being a little bit ignorant about this, but uh, when I uh, ask for somebody to look at something, and they are five or something, just by nature, uh, what, what do you have as a check to balance? Is there the advice? The checks and balance is really, really John and myself. We're the agency that's responsible for it. So what's whatever comes out of the third-party contractor, 
you know, we're the ones that has the ultimate. You, know, you, got, you guys might be the, the, the salt of the earth and the greatest there is, right? But with as much corruption that there is in government, right, at low stages, how do we know that? Yeah. Well, as I said before, all these documents. Uh, that we produce are available for public review. So you're going to look. You're going to have the opportunity to look at the environmental impact statement. You're going to have the opportunity to, to comment on that. And we work with other federal and state agencies and local groups to you know, develop this information. So it's not all in one person's hands or in one company's hands. There's, there's lots of people who look at this. It's a very open process. Uh, gentleman back there with the ball cap, and then gentleman back there. And can you guys state your names too? I'm getting away from you. Getting names. Yeah, I'm Rick Hastings. Uh, I was just following up with what the gentleman said a minute ago about uh, it's kind of like uh, what's the adage about the wolf guarding the hen house kind of deal. Um, it's like it's almost as if in the court of law, uh, my defendant needs a uh, psychiatrist or whatever to vouch their sanity or insanity. So I go buy a psychiatrist, and he says what I want him to say. So what's the what? What truly, honestly, is there to keep a a a, uh, a, a, a corporation paying a consultant not to say exactly and do exactly what the corporation who is paying their bills want them to say, regardless of what you guys with the Fed say or don't say? What's to stop that influence? based on that corruption and the, uh, I guess, the power of the dollar, if you will. Me, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission staff. I work for the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, which is part of the U.S. government, which yeah. last time I checked works for the people. So that's that's my job. I understand. I so understand that, that's that, where the stop is, and that's where the check is. And I understand your concern. It, it's something that's very commonly questioned about this kind of project. This is not an uncommon practice in the federal government. Can you tell us what Commissioner LaFleur did before she was Commissioner LaFleur? Uh, she was the CEO yeah. for a natural gas company. Uh, the, the, the statement was about Commissioner LaFleur and her uh, previous employment before uh, she well, came to work at first. You said that, that you are what stands between that kind of corrupt activity, but you're, you have four or five commissioners listed on your FERC website. And when you click on their names, it tells what fine things they do right now. But if you look at other websites, you find out that people like Commissioner LaFleur have very long uh, careers with high-paying jobs as CEOs for natural gas companies. So the que I guess the question is... is so it's no. muddy, muddy, muddy works. <coughs> I think one of the things to, to think about with the commissioners is that they're appointed by different presidents. So whatever the affiliation of the president is that appointed those commissioners may tend to lead toward any bias that the commissioners may have. Um, I, I don't remember off the top of my head when LaFord was appointed or, or who she was appointed under. Guy Obama, um, who is for the Shell Project. Let's see. Oh, it, Obama. She was appointed by Obama, who is read what his stance is on hydraulic fracturing and uh, tapping into all these natural gas shales throughout this country. He is for it 100%. Uh, the commission, like all federal employees and, and, and federal appointees, are subject to ethical standards and uh, ethical reviews. I've seen cases where commissioners have recused themselves because of previous projects and previous work. Thank you. I think I'm going to take one more question because we're kind of starting